Hey everybody, it's been a while. Welcome to episode 117 of Dungeons & Coffee. Today's episode is brought to you by... This Kickstarter is a dream come true for a game master. This is a multi-volume project. It's a big, thick, encyclopedic collection of cryptids and folklore of Appalachia. You've heard about them. Mothman, the Flatwoods Monster, the Apple Devil, just to name a few. I've been a big fan of the artist and author Kristen Puckett of Egerton Puck Art for a long time, and I've incorporated her monsters into my RPGs with great positive feedback from my gaming peers. She works with multiple art styles and knows what other cryptid fans and tabletop gamers want. She's a dungeon master herself in her spare time. Here you see examples of her original multiple styles, which are included in the hardback, the ebook, and the RPG Game Master's versions. Check out this Kickstarter now and tell all your friends about it. If you tell the author you heard about this on Dungeons & Coffee, she may grant you a boon. And now... Dungeons & Coffee! Greetings. First thing we're going to do is cut out a couple circles out of foam. This is going to be a really fast and easy craft here. dry and I'll be I'll have all the hard parts done. <clears throat> so let's do that. A little bit of tacky. You can use hot glue if you're in a hurry. I'm not. I'm getting ready to go watch an episode of Shetland. So there we go. A little dry. Ready for my pillars. Whatever details I want to put on there. Paint it over and it's gonna be a really really fast and easy little piece of terrain there. top of those and then uh, I don't know a lot of scenarios call for an altar a portal a gate uh, something along those lines a magic uh, pentagram for incantations whatnot so uh, I think this will be pretty handy for a, a lot of different adventures I've had enough experience with this kind of stuff in the past to know that if I just if I just do the grays and do the just the classic gray stone work, um, that's going to look pretty good. But um, I want to uh, I want to do something that's going to kind of highlight or draw the eye to the crystals or to the stones. So I'm going to start with uh, dry brushing uh, liberally some purple. And then I'll have some other colors over top of that, but that's going to be my starter. And that's going to give uh, some variety of color. Starting off, this is going to look way too bright and like the wrong color choice. But like I said, I'm going to put some other colors over top of that. I'll just start with our purple. So here we have this so far, and I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and follow through with my wash. I'll give it uh, a grayish brown, uh, a deep gray brown wash. I'm going to follow through with that. However, you wouldn't have to take that step. Uh, I think it looks pretty good the way it is, especially if you're going to go with like um, uh, 
um, if you're doing a, a drow or an underdark sort of uh, you know environment I think you could you could uh, easily be happy uh, with it the way it is um, uh, you could instead of purples and blues like I used here you could also use greens uh, you could go with reds uh, you could go with rust colors um, yellows and light browns you could go that direction if you're going to go with something say in the uh, uh, a desert dunes kind of scenario or environment but um, well there it is so far I'm pretty tickled with it I like it and uh, I will follow through with my wash but we'll do a before and after and then uh, you can get an idea of which which style you like best if you want to try this yourself Remember, keep your books off the table and keep reaching for the dice.